I remember years ago when I was a teenager, I was experimenting with marijuana. And somebody very close to me, someone I looked up to, which was concerned about my salvation, they said, what if you would have died while you were high? Implying that if I would have died while I was high on marijuana, I would have went to hell. So therefore implying that my behavior uh, the fact that I wasn't behaving correctly when uh, when I died uh, would mean I went to heaven or hell. And how many people do we know and we think that as our friends uh, have this outlook on salvation, this false outlook that if you're in the middle of sin, in the middle, you know, when you die, you're going to hell. That shows you blatantly right there that that person does not understand salvation. They don't understand what is it about and how you're saved and it, about how you are saved they think you're you know if you're in sin or sinning and then you die have a heart attack oh you're going to hell well that, <laughs> yes if salvation was up to us and our good behavior yes that would be the way it is and nobody and here's a, here, here's the kicker too everybody would go to hell not just because you're sinning the moment that you're sinning then you go to hell but if you're not sinning uh, while well, you die, you go to heaven. See, that's not even Christianity. That's a false religion. That's what 99% of religions teach that are not true uh, Christianity. Okay. But this person was a genuinely heartfelt, you know, scared for myself. They loved me. Okay. But they were just wrong in their theology. They were wrong in their teaching. Someone had taught them that you have to behave. That salvation is about you behaving to get to heaven. After all, if I was high when I died, I wasn't behaving right. I was high on marijuana. It's a sad, sad uh, teaching. And that's where millions of people are at, guys. Millions of people think that. That's why they can never have peace. They can never have assurance. They can never have the joy or the peace that passes all understanding. Jesus said that my burden is light. Or my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What does that mean? It means that it is not hard. Having being saved is not hard. Paul called it the simplicity that's in Christ. I just truly easily trusting on Jesus Christ but I was scared to death when that person told me that because this is somebody I looked up to okay I thought man yeah I'm high right now what if I died oh so the, the fear of hell trying to be put upon me right and then what does that do to humans what does that do to people that makes you get worse the more scared of hell you are, the worse you will be in your life. But the funny part about it, the manipulative part about it, is you will think you are getting better, but you're not. Then you'll start sweeping sin under the rug, acting like you, you didn't really sin when you did sin, or that's not sin, that's not that bad, that's, not that, that's the worst place you can be, is, uh, is measuring your sins to see if you can get to go to heaven or not. That is the worst place you can be. Because you don't really understand one little bitty sin. You're, you're done. But you're thinking that God will sweep it under the rug when you're under that false mindset. But yeah, when you're scared of hell and you're told, Oh, if you're doing that when you die, you're going to get worse. But you're going to think you're getting better. You're not. You're going to think God appreciates all your efforts. You're going to think God will have more mercy on you the more you try as hard as you can not to sin. That is not the truth, guys. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's not your efforts that gives God's mercy on you. It's His effort on the cross. It's not your efforts of trying not to do bad things that makes God happy. It's your faith in Him, and when everything is crashing down and falling around around you, you believe and trust on Him. Like Peter, walking on water, he started to sink. He started looking at the storm around him, and Jesus was nice and calm and just reached out his hand that's what pleases the Lord when you trust him no matter what's going on in your life you make a mistake you trust him 
You blow up in somebody's face, you trust him. You hurt a bunch of people, you trust him. And you thank him that he's died for your sins. Because us as newborn again creations, we're not going out and looking and trying to sin as much as we can because we enjoy it. That's not us, guys. Now, some Christians will tell you that is us. Some Christians will lie to you and tell you that Christians try as hard as they can to sin. They don't care nothing about the Lord. Right? And nothing bothers them. They hate God. No. We don't hate the Lord as born-again Christians. We don't. We have an undying love for Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you this right now. If you're a Christian, born-again, true born-again Christian, sin does bother you. Okay? But the important part is Jesus Christ died for that sin, no matter how grievous it may be. And if you're in the middle of any kind of sin when you die, you go to heaven. Why? Because it's about God's grace and mercy. It's not about your behavior. Now, am I telling everybody, it's fine, go out and kill 50 people, and then kill yourself, because after all, no. See, that's the religio-tard way of looking at it. For by grace you have been saved through faith. Okay? It's not of works. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. That's how simple it is, guys. We rely on His mercy and His mercy alone. That's how anybody is ever saved. And that's how it's always going to be. God bless everybody. Thank you guys.